Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today, as you can tell by the title of the video, I thought it'd be fun to do kind of like an updated Procreate gallery tour because it's been close to like a year, almost a year. Okay, I didn't know that some things were overexposed, so we're gonna do this again. I'm just gonna zoom in so we can get into like a gallery mode. Um, so the first thing we have is just the sketch of Kaida Haru, who is a VTuber, and I decided to do the sketch in Procreate before transferring it to watercolor paper. This was my first attempt, and I didn't really like it because it didn't really look like him. Here we have the promotional illustration that I did for PUBG X Lion Friends collaboration. Just a blank page, which I'm gonna explain here. I used to put this in front so that in the stack you couldn't see it for because I had to get this video approved beforehand and I filmed a quite like a few videos um, of me clicking into Procreate and I didn't want to expose it. Um, here's the sketch portion of that previous drawing. This is Bennett and Hu Tao and I did this for a live stream um, on Twitch where I was drawing Genshin characters from memory and as you can see I can remember quite a bit of Bennett's details except for there's a lot of things that are still incorrect um, but I missed a lot of things from Hu Tao. Um, even though I've drawn like every Genshin characters at least once like in chibi form I don't remember that many details. So we have Shinyan, we have Toma, and we have Kokomi. As you can see Toma's still way blown out. Okay I think this is better. This is probably better. You can probably see better now. Okay, so yeah, Shinyan, Toma, Kokomi, and I use a number generator, and for some reason my generator is picking all high numbers for the first round, and then the second round we got some some other characters. But yeah, these were for a live stream. Kokomi, which you guys have probably seen from the other video. Another one of Kokomi, hopefully to turn into a painting. Razor, and I believe Chong Yoon is also in here, but I won't show it, um, but they refer to another video where I painted with gouache and watercolor. We have Tepe, <laughs> bless his soul. Um, we have Ball or A or Raiden Shogun. We have Yoi Mia. So these two also had videos. We have Bennett. We have Chong Yoon. So some of these, whoa. Yeah, so Chong Yoon. Bennett. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. Um, we have Sucrose. Yeah, we have Sucrose. We have Waiter Albedo. We have Child or Tartalia. We have Ayaka. So these are like all my Genshin stuff. Um, we have Barbara, just a quick sketch. We have Kazuha. Another one of Kazuha, which I don't really like. He looks really childlike and a little derpy. We have Venti, just for his birthday. I didn't really want to finish it. I just kind of like rendered his face and then stopped. Summer Kaya, I was gonna do. I might finish this at some point, but for now I'm just gonna leave it. Paimon for a video. Barbara for a another watercolor painting that I did for a Twitch stream. And then we have Lisa. Then we have little sketches of Klee. More sketches. So these were done with the, I think it's just the same sketch brush. And then I did use the watercolor tool to color in some of the values and stuff. So we have Bennett, Xinyan, and Zhongli. Here we have Barbara. I don't know why I did that, but um, yeah, so we have Zhongli and this was recommended by uh, one of your guys' comments asking, or not asking, recommending that it would be cute to have him as kind of like a sticker for my orders. So I have him as my freebies for any Genshin orders. Here we have Yula. I, I really don't like this. I would like to redraw her. Same with Yanfei. Um, definitely want to redraw. Sucrose, which was the main sketch for the other one, but I decided to switch her to a rectangle size, so I had to draw more of her body. Zhongli, kind of with flowers and kind of like a night um, lighting scheme, bar kind of scene, I guess. Uh, we have Idol Barbara and Idol Xinyan. I kind of want to redo this one too. I think it would be fun. I don't really like how I rendered them. Um, Chongyun Chibi. 
Just quick painting of him. Xing Cho. I actually really like this one. We have Venti Doodles, which was a video, also got corrupted. <laughs> we have Xiao. I would definitely like to redraw him. Zhongli um, for another watercolor painting. Official for the one layer challenge. We have Ganyu. Kaya in more kind of like formal attire and a bouquet. Maybe I'll revisit this. I think it would be fun. We have Venti for another watercolor painting. And then I have my original team for Genshin. So we have Kaya, Fischl, Zhongli, and Barbara. Barbara again. Xinyan. Zhongli. Zhongli second attempt. Zhongli first attempt. Um, Barbara, which I was going to do for a painting, but I don't think I'm going to be able to achieve the texture that I wanted. We'll see if I revisit this, though. I think it would be nice, too. Or at least on, like, on a smaller scale. Do, like, a test run. Diona. Child first attempt. Super derpy, so I scrapped it. Venti. Just a quick sketch while I was out and about. Um, Mona. I don't know why her, her body looks so weird. We have D. Luke, Kaya, Venti, Xing Cho, first attempt. We have Amber. I was teaching my brother something, so I was doing Link Kaya while explaining some stuff. We have Paimon, some weird faces, a giraffe. And now we're on my 17 folder. Uh, so yeah, I think I separated my 17 folder into like um, more than one person. And then I have my sketch pages, and then I have individual members. I think that's how I separated them. So we're in kind of like the realm of more than one person, so I wasn't able to sort them into like their individual folders. We have Wanu and D8. Um, we have Mingyu and Wanu's Bittersweet, which I just really wanted to draw their promotional poster. Dogyam, or Dogyam and Wanu. We have June and D8 for their... what was it for? Was it Children's Day? Parents' Day? Something like that in China? Um, we have 97 line. I think this is when Mingyu is back, technically, so I wanted to draw something. So we have Dogya, Mingyu, D8, D8, and Wanu. I do have a chibi version of this, like, done on Painful Sai. Shua and Dogya. So I think we're getting back into my older stuff. Um, we have 97 line again. I think this is supposed to be Dogyam, Vernon, Sungguan in this photo. I didn't finish it, so another kind of unfinished piece. Now we're on to my S-Coops folder. So S-Coops, I did this for a collaboration. I don't think it's out quite yet, uh, but it's just redrawing his Instagram posts. So this is one of them. I, think, I really like that one. This one. I think I really like the warm color palette. It's really cute. Another one where I drew one of his Instagram posts. And I really like this one. It was fun to draw the car, mostly, and him. I hate drawing backgrounds, um, so that's why a lot of the trees look very repetitive. I did try to divvy it up a little bit, but uh, most of them are just copy and pasted and then tried to change some of the texture of the, the trees. I had a lot of fun doing the sky, though, and the car. Sky, car, and s -Coops himself was very fun. And doing a little bit of like the texture in the road was fun. s -Coops, um planning for s -Coops birthday two years ago, I think? Or last year? Might have been last year. s -Coops again. Might revisit this if I can find the reference photo. Because his lashes are so beautiful and like the, the color tone of his hair. Everything was just so pretty. S keeps again, different style. Jonghan that I did for the most recent live stream. Um, I was gonna sketch him more, but I decided to just pick um, one of his older fan signing outfits to draw and draw him in this cute pose. So yeah, Jonghan. Jonghan from Manse because I've been reminiscing about his long hair because it's really cute. Jonghan again for a promotional thing for perfume, I believe. Um, this was for one of his Instagram posts. I didn't finish it, so yeah. This one was the same one from that perfume ad. 
I might come back and color this because the, the flower arrangement and stuff was actually really pretty. So we'll see. Jonghan again. I believe I did this for a video. This was a gift for one of my friends, one of my carrot friends. Jonghan practice sketch. Jonghan from left and right. Jonghan during like my initial phases of learning how to digitally paint and procreate. Um, trying to play around with brushes and I couldn't find anything I really liked or couldn't make anything I really liked. Sketches from the very beginning of when I got my iPad. So these are of Jonghan when he finally returned. Um, Jonghan TV. And now we're on to Joshua. I don't think I have very many of him. So this was for a friend's birthday. Initial one for her birthday, but I didn't really like how I drew him, so I scrapped it. Uh, initial concept for a falling flower that I wanted to do to match one of my Wanu pieces. June from, I think, is it Ataka? It was like from their teaser. I need to change his face a little bit, or his eyes. Not really liking it, so I kind of stopped. Junie from Home Run. June, kind of a moon concept. Hoshi from Spider. This is definitely one of my favorites, just especially the lighting um, and the texture of the glowing paint. We have Hoshi again, so Home Run. Then we're on Wanu. So my Wanu folder has like, I think the most in it in terms of the 17 members. So we just have Wanu from Adore You. Um, so this is during Oh My, and then this is from the Dingo whatever it's called, but he had like pooty pooty and then he was dressed in this really cute kind of suit, big bow tie, kind of cute outfit. Wanu again from an Instagram post I believe. Didn't really like it, so I'm probably gonna scrap it. Wanu from... Ah... Is it like the Decon? Like Dispatch magazine? We have Wanu again, just really quick sketch. This was for a collaboration between a bunch of different carrots, and I got to draw Wanu from the pre-debut of Shining Diamond. Um, yeah, with his kind of like crimped hair. Wanu from a magazine photo shoot, which I really, really liked. And I actually really liked this drawing. I think it was very fun. Same with this one. This one was very cute. I think I did this one first. I don't really remember. But I thought this one was cuter, so I added little doodles around him. But it was, yeah, Waves Magazine. And then another one from the Waves Magazine, but I didn't really like how I drew him. Might revisit again. <laughs> First attempt at drawing the Shining Diamond Wanu. Didn't really like it, so I did the other one. Here we have just Wanu sketches. These are some of my favorites. He just looks so cute and soft. And I really like how it's incomplete and kind of just not entirely polished because of these kind of more painterly areas here. Look really nice. In my opinion. Wolnu from Incomplete Concert. I should really do this for sketches though. Write down maybe the date and what it's from. Wolnu again. Chibi Wolnus with little blue flowers. I think this was for a video. Um, kind of like watercolor brush and I think it's either the technical pencil or like a mechanical pencil that I used. Um, but it's kind of fun to do these every so often. I really like this one. Wanu again. Um, I think this is from the Mafia episode. I don't know why his shoulder is so short though. Dendro Wanu, so if he was in Genshin. Another Wanu sketch. These are all from last year. Wow. I actually really like this one. This one's cute. <laughs> this one's definitely one of my favorite to draw though. And I really love the color tones and shapes inside the hair and on the suit. Looks really nice. I I think this one is definitely one of my favorite drawings like in general. Wanu from I think it was like the horror like the haunted house one. This is from the Mouse Buster episode, kind of giving that ink washy vibe. Which Wanu? Um, Wanu as a mummy, I think, for that carrot collaboration, but it was for Halloween. Wanu as a chibi. I think I was going to do a video on this, but um, I think the file got corrupted or I couldn't finish it in time. 
I think this was during my hiatus, so I just wanted to draw something on Procreate. I usually don't like working on this style in Procreate. I usually save this for Paint Tool Sai because I have more control. Wonu. Wonu again. Giant head. Kind of tiny body little Wonu. Um, he kind of looks like Switch with this outfit. I think that's what I was telling people. 17 Airlines. So 17 has like cute airline pilots. So I wanted to draw Wanu. This was for a watercolor piece. 24 hour Wanu. I actually really like this one still. Looks still really soft. Wanu in his sleeveless shirt. 24 hour with the crop top. More chibis where I think I did this for a video. So kind of more of this watercolor wash and this kind of sketchier style. This one was for Juan, who's one of my carrot friends. Wanu doodles for um, his birthday V Live. Just another sketch. Um, this was done in Paint Tool Sai. I just did the lines on his um, pants in Procreate because I wanted to not have to open up my laptop because it's very slow. Um, just to fill in some lines, so I luckily I exported it to my iPad so I could um, do the lines of his pants. Just more doodles. I think I don't know what these were for. I think they were just random. Um, this is from Mai Mai. I was gonna draw this for his birthday, but I stopped. This one's from Cart Racer. Cart Racer again. This was like an animation. Oh, this one works. If I remember, I'll put the actual version here or something. Wanu in the crop top for left and right. Wanu from Mai Mai. Wanu from left and right, I believe. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Um, these are something I used to do a lot more in my sketchbook, which is kind of like look at airport fashion from them and kind of do these kind of more in-depth value studies or like focusing on cross like cross hatching and like thinner lines so i actually really enjoy these uh wanu from the hengare i think album unboxing don't really remember what this is from but i actually really like the lighting i think it looks quite pretty wanu again gamer wanu for some reason twitter people liked it a lot <laughs> i think he looks really derpy though this one's really cute. I think this is when I started figuring out more of digital painting. Um, yeah, one again. I don't really remember what this is from. I think it's one of the teaser photos. Which one new? More little chibis for, um, I think it's like the which one new set. The stickers that I did. Not sure about this cropping, but I would like to revisit this idea. And I think I've said it in the past. More chibis. I really like this kind of dark gray color. I think it looks really pretty with the washes though. Same with these ones. So I don't know if my camera lagged, but I was talking about the highlights on the boots and stuff, like on the side. I think it's always fun to do when you're using like the watercolor tool. Just a few more. I drew this a lot. He's one of my favorites too. Super cute. Darker ones. I think this is the reason why I switched to like the lighter gray washes and kind of like the dark gray for the lines instead. Because this looks overwhelmingly too contrasted. Redid this concept. Maybe I'll post a picture or something of this one. Um, but it's in my Wanu zine. More sketches. I believe I did for a video. This is the one that I was going to pair up with the other Shua one, but yeah, Falling Flower. I actually really like the colors on this. I think it's still really pretty. Sketches, just testing things out. And I, the one thing I like about doing sketches is like being able to record stuff. So I remember seeing, I think he was doing a V-Live and he had like a really cute outfit. So just quickly sketch something just to remember it. Other concept I wanted to do. I don't think I finished this one. I actually really don't like the colors here. They look overly saturated. Um, kind of little notes to myself for printing a zine. More Wanu doodles. And I think that's it for Wanu. Nope. I still like this one. This one looks so derpy and cute. 
Another one of Wanu. Kind of like tiny Wanu. I don't know what these plants are, but yeah, kind of like in a dark little bush or something. He's like emerging. <laughs> Another sketch. This is when I was learning how to digitally paint more, and I could not imitate the same painting brush that I had in Paint Till Sai, so um, trying to compromise, trying to find brushes that I liked. Another gif? That doesn't work, um, but it's kind of him swerving forward. Same with this one, it's just like a blinking one. This one was also one, but I don't think any of these are working for some reason. More doodles. These ones look really soft. I kind of don't remember what pencil I used, but they look really cute. And I believe I sketched these without my screen protector at the time, so it was on like the pure glass. More sketches. Yeah, I really should sketch like this again in here. I think it was a lot more fun. Um, sketching kind of with a pencil that resembles like traditional medium. That was like the initial sketch for one of my Wanu pieces. We have one of Woozy. I don't draw Woozy that often, so there's like only one of him in here. Um, I was gonna draw Ming Hao for the Attacka teaser comeback trailer thing, but I haven't finished it. So I, I might come back and do this and kind of fix things up so it makes more sense. But I would like to work on this. Ming Hao for his solo song, Side by Side, which I really, really like still. The drawing's cute, but I definitely like the song more than my drawing. It's still cute, though. Initial version I was gonna do. This one was really cute, too. I might render this one. This is also from the side-by-side -side music video. Ming Hao with a scarf and the winter jacket. I don't really remember what the reference drawing was. This one was for a watercolor piece that I super duper really like. A uh, little sketch page for his birthday. 24 hour. Which I still really like. If I just fix his face, maybe I could do this one again. Uh, another one for a watercolor painting, which I think is my favorite watercolor painting up to this point. That is more in my anime-ish style. Not like my realism ones. Ming Hao from... Is it like the 17 shadows or whatever? Like the 8 shadows? Little squitch of his cute outfit from High Cut. I think this became a freebie sticker after rendering it out, obviously, um, for my D8 zine. Another sketch for the zine. Another one for the zine. And then I didn't include these into the zine, but they're just quick sketches of him in certain era, like eras, but also doing like swatches for his outfits. These ones are really cute. This is my favorite outfit though, definitely. More of the... So we have Aju Nice or Very Nice. We have Pretty You. We have his ramen curly hair from Manse. We have Adore You. Really cute. Um, Yeah, so this was planning for my D8 fashion zine where I kind of just did a bunch of different illustrations of him and the different outfits that he wore. And I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do things, so this is kind of the mess I had. Um, more sketches. Um, yeah, planning for the cover. Just thoughts of whether or not I was going to use this for the cover or not. More sketches that I thought I was going to include. A few more. I really like the pencil texture. I think this is like the 6B. It looks really nice. Mingyu. Just quick little sketches of him during one of his V-Lives or mukbang um, shows. I do like this one though. His eyes are a little skewed, but yeah. Mingyu for a painting that I wanted to do. Maybe I'll revisit it. Um, but the painting didn't turn out well because his skin turned really blotchy. Mingyu again. I had a reference before, but I guess I didn't follow it very closely. And then we have Dogam, who I draw a lot of like Excalibur fan art for him. So yeah, here we have another one. This one's had a reference, but I love the colors of the sky and stuff and it was super pretty. So I wanted to draw the clouds and the sky and obviously Dogam. Dogam from another video. 
Dogen being all cozy in a blanket. I love these little folds. Concept for something else. I think it was like some kind of sunflower event um, for Dogen. Dogen for another painting that I did in watercolor. Dogen for left and right. First Excalibur drawing or painting that I did from his very first show. We have Sengguan, which a lot of you guys will recognize because for some reason it's my most viewed video, I believe. Sengguan birthday illustration from maybe a year ago, if not two years ago. Kind of the initial thing, second version, and then I finished it in Painto Sai. Um, experimenting with the watercolor tool to see if I could get it to behave similarly to actual watercolor, and it kind of worked and kind of didn't. Uh, these are for something else. I'll have to blur these. Um, yeah, I'll blur these ones. Because I don't think I can show those um, until the thing is released because it's for a project. I'll blur anything that I'm not supposed to reveal. Um, Vernon. Vernon again. So these are both from the Ready to Love music video. Vernon again, kind of... Sp Kind of like, I don't really remember why I did this concept. Vernon music video redraw from Oh My, I believe. Dino. Dino again from anyone. I might render this or something. I really like this one. But he also looked really nice in the music video, not gonna lie. Hmm, I, I really like Dino. Okay, now we're in my sketch pages. Um, but yeah, so this is from 17's Debate Night. I love watching Going 17. And here's another one from their kickball episode. I didn't take the time to actually color or render it, so I might come back and do that eventually. But I did do that for this first little sketch page, I guess you can call it. <laughs> but I always find these fun. This is kind of overlapping of doodles. We have Wanu, we have... Jonghan, Dogyam, D8, Hoshi. And then here we have Luzi, Dino, Hoshi, Dogyam, Jun. Then we have S Coops, Wanu, Hoshi, Dino, Mingyu, Jun. Wanu, Hoshi, D8, Joshua, S Coops. Um, we have 95 lines. We have Joshua, S Coops, and Jonghan for hit sound. Um, kind of little doodles with a fixed color palette. So we have Wanu. We have Woozy, we have Hoshi, and we have Jonghan from the Kart Racer episode. I think this is- so it's June and... is it Jonghan? Maybe? I don't really remember who was accompanying um, June at the time, but I believe this is probably from one of the Who Alives, where they play games. Um, yeah. So we have Junie, and we have D8. June, D8, June, D8. I kind of like to alternate them if there's like, um... If they're doing like a broadcast together, like the Who Alive. I think these ones are cute. I like this one a lot and these two. Uh, we have Wanu and Dogam. I think this one's my favorite because specifically because of these two little doodles of Dogam. I think look really cute. Um, but yeah, we have Wo yeah, we have Wanu, we have Dogam, Dogam, Wanu, Dogam, Wanu. And this is from another Who Alive. And then here, another Who Alive, obviously. So we have Wanu, Jonghan, Wanu, Jonghan, Wanu, Jonghan. Another mess of doodles. So this is from the Incomplete concert. So we have Escoop, Sungwan, Dogyam, Wanu, Hoshi, and Jun. Uh, Jonghan, little sketches or doodles. Oh, Wanu's down here too. Uh, we have D8, Joshua, and Wanu. I think this was for a video. June and Woozy. Um, another concert kind of fan meeting. It's Carrotland. So we have Wanu, we have Singwan, and Mingyu. I just thought the like the outfits that they were wearing were very very cute. Um, Jonghan really cute. Like he's very really squished. We have Dino and we have Hoshi. Um, let's see. Besides his broken arm, uh, we have. D8, we have June, we have S Coops, and we have Dino, Kart Racer episode. And then we have Dogyam and Hoshi sketches. 
Um, I think these were just random doodles, also with more of a fixed color palette. S Coops, Wanu, Jonghan, and Luzi. Doodles. Another one of all my doodles. We have Dino, we have Dogyam, and Vernon. Manse doodles. We have Jonghan, we have Mingyu, Wanu, uh, Dino, and Jonghan again. So I believe his was from a fan signing. These ones were just kind of random. Um. Yeah, I really like the color palette here too. I like the kind of more muted blues and kind of like the cyan color and then kind of a pop of a really bright pink. More of 17's 95 line. So we have S Coops, Jonghan, and Joshua. Uh, so this one is of me and my OCs. So we have me drawing me and my OCs. We have my kind of like mascot character. I don't know what to call him, but we have Hansuke, we have Sato, we have uh, Masaki, and Koji. So we have another music video redraw, and this is Aya's one panorama, I believe. So we have Chewan and Nako. I really do miss them. Um, a little promotional thing for me and Veda. Wonu for the collab that I did with Veda. As well as me coloring her little sketch or drawing of Woozy. So we have my sketch, me coloring her sketch, and then we have um, her coloring my sketch, which is really cute. Little planning. So this is the Masaki charm that some of you guys decided to buy, and I really do appreciate the support. I was going to draw Masaki in the teacup, so I'll do that for a future design or a future sticker set or something. But yeah, just planning for Masaki stuff. And then we have Kino. From Pentagon, which I was trying to do the one layer challenge again, but I really didn't like this, so I decided to do the official one. This is from the Z app or Z or Project Z, I think, which is like that little um, app that you can kind of like talk to people about your interests and stuff, go into chat rooms. But yeah, create a character based on their app. Previous version, but there was too much orange and yellow, so I leaned it towards purple. Initial planning. Masaki for a tutorial-ish video where I was explaining how I use the watercolor and brush because a lot of people were having issues using it. I don't really remember what this is for. <laughs> yeah, I drew that for no reason. Uh, I think I was going to do this for home run stickers for 17. Random sketch of Hoshi. Now we're in my commission territory, so I'm just gonna blast through these because I don't know if the clients really want me to full-on explain everything. So yeah, we're just gonna blast through them. Because a lot of these commissions are just um, them and their friends, or for icons, or for, um, what is it called? Like gifts for other people, their OCs, you know, all that. really going through them all. Any of the sketches that you saw were um, usually freebie sketches if you buy any double portraits. I think we're nearing the end. Yeah. Okay, so that was the end of my little commission um, section. This is Tai Chi Mukai. I don't really remember what the song title is called, but I really love the lighting in that music video. I think this is GA from Lovelies. She has some really cute pictures on her Instagram. 17 Airlines, I was gonna do for photo cards. Really don't like these, so I decided to stop with those. I might return back to these because I still like the backing card of this. Uh, this is for a giveaway winner, so I think it's Jonghan as Tamaki from Orient High School Host Club. Um, yeah, another one. Oh, these ones I have the labels for. I don't know where the label for this one went, but yeah. This is this person's very cute OC giveaway winners. Um, I think this is for us be for Lily's uh, Dreamy Night, but I really didn't like it, so didn't even attempt to finish it. My OC Hisoka. Um, which is like one of my old OCs, so yeah. Sairi, another old OC redraw. Daiki. And then my persona. My very first digital drawing of a girl named Miki, I think. 
Um, but she's like my very first digital drawing that I've ever done, so I decided to do a redraw on Procreate because I haven't done one in so many years. Uh, this is where I'm, I draw this in your style, but I don't like the proportioning of it, so I didn't continue. Yonhi from Rocket Punch. I like to do more Rocket Punch fan art. They're really cute. Another one of Yonhi, Daihan. Now we're in Kenma, Noya, Akazi. So yeah, these are in, these ones were for my friends. So I did this one randomly because I really loved the outfit. This is from one of my online friends, and same with this one. And then another quick little doodle for her. Um, Hinata is a chibi, whereas I was kind of explaining how I do my chibis. Another one for my friend who's OC. So I think we're in like the gift area where I was gifting. These are a lot of, like, how to explain this? A lot of these sketches were either the prepping phase for someone's gift or just me drawing something for somebody. So yeah. Or I think it's like even the draw this in your style thing might be in here as well. So we have my friend's OC, um, another person's OC. Um, one of my friends OC from Instagram. Now these were drawing your OCs, like your guys' OCs. So I have them all labeled. Some of these are cute. Some of them I wish I did a better job. This was a birthday gift. Another birthday gift. I don't know where the text went once again. <laughs> birthday gift. Another birthday gift. Draw drawing your OCs, but I'm sketching them out. This one's cute. This one's cute too. <laughs> Um, another one for that same friend that I keep drawing their OCs for, but I never finished. Draw your OCs. Birthday gift. I thought a person had a birthday super soon, so I was whipping up like a drawing for them, but apparently it's not their birthday, so I kind of halted. I don't know if I'll finish this or if their birthday is already passed. Um, we'll see. I, I might have to reassess what I'm doing with this one. Um, yeah, another birthday gift. I actually really like this one. I think the flower came out really pretty, and their OC is just gorgeous. Such a pretty OC. Um, another one for a friend. Another one for a friend. Um, this one was like a freebie for a commission. This one was an art trade with Jianro, I think? On Instagram. Another birthday gift, so Hoshi and Wanu. I think I was gonna do a gif of this, I don't really remember. Bonbongi as a human. Little stickers I was going to do. I don't think I've ever used these. So maybe he looks so squishy for some reason. Yeah, I think I was going to use these for stickers. This was for a friend, Rirbongi, holding a chicken drumstick. Oh, this is the gif. Oh god. I should slow this down, but yeah, looks like he's freaking out. Uh, me, when, kind of like what I look like when I'm at home, like what I wear. I literally have my red blanket right here, like my little checkered blanket. Um, and my hair is like tied in the same way. Um, but yeah. Meet the 17 artist. So that's, that's all the stuff about me. <laughs> me as an Animal Crossing character from my Animal Crossing New Horizon. I also have Masaki and then my cute little villagers. You have Mira, Tank, Chevra, Amelia, Cranston, Sirena, um, Bubbles, Shadow, Marshall, and Raymond. These two are my dream villagers and I got them. The cherries in my town. Kind of a... This is for a carrot selka day, I think. You're supposed to draw yourself along with one of the pictures that the members have posted. So there's like a Wanu version where he's also wearing kind of like a navy blue outfit. But yeah, me and there will be a picture. Q&A post. Me doing flower studies for a very brief moment. Where I was kind of writing a few things doing little blurbs, a little bit of a study on how to draw them. I want to go back and do this. I think it would be fun to revisit them. 
I don't know why I have a blank page. Ah, there's another kind of like thing to cover up the folder. So I did this for a zine. So we have 17 as um, kind of like going for a mystical forest kind of thing. So I have 95 line as fairies. So we have Joshua as Coops and Jonghan. And then we have 96 as kind of like little gatherers um, collecting this pollen flower stuff. So we have Hoshi kind of screaming, crying. We have Wonu being scared by June and Woozy yawning in the background. Um, then we have the Dongseng line or the Maknes, the younger um, members. So we have 97 line, which is here is Mingyu as the giant. So I did them as kind of the, uh, what's it called? Jack and the Beanstalk. And the reason was because we were supposed to do like, um, like stories, fairy tales, like folklores, anything like that. And so I did Jack and the Beanstalk and then you can make your own concept up. Um, but I thought this was fun. So we have Mingyu as the giant, we have Dino with a little diamond harp, we have Vernon, we have um, Sungwon with all the coins, we have Dogyam with a golden bonbongi, and then we have Minghao kind of looking at the camera and kind of being like, do I really have to chop down the beanstalk? Idea for the zine again, how to do a chibi version, zine ideas birthday thing for Dino, Zenitsu, when I was with my friend in a different city because we we're just hanging out, um, Nezuko. So I was going to do this as a series, but I, I the hype for me for Demon Slayer kind of died down a little bit. So yeah, I don't know if I'll return back to these. A uh, little s doodle for 2020's Lunar New Year or like Chinese New Year. Fabric study. More studies, kind of using the 6B pencil. Little color swatch for pixels. These don't read very well, um, blown up, so apologies. We have Wanu as like in the Boom Boom outfit, I think. I don't know if this one plays, yeah. He would be like bobbing up and down. Little attempts of pixel art and Procreate. Good little doodle page. Me testing out how to get um, little like what are they called? Like squares, like pixels for a brush. Little doodles from One Fine Day. I don't know why this is not in my other folder, but we have Wanu, we have Woozy, we have Dino, and we have little tiny Mingyu. He's the same paint thinner. I think he looks really cute. I was gonna do like a whole spread of like One Fine Day doodles. Dimitri or Brave Dimitri from Fire Emblem Heroes. Byleth. We have Annette. Ignat, who's like my favorite to draw. So I was gonna draw him in this like kind of like festival summer attire. We have Ash, who's my second favorite. Um, Ignat's again. Ignat's painting flame. We have Yuri. Ignat doodles. He's my favorite to draw. I don't know if it's because he reminds me of Wanu a little bit. Um, we have Ash again. Edelgard. Grid for some reason. I think it's because I was testing out that grid brush. I could probably delete this. This is like my background and my screen, like my lock screen. So we have Ardon is hotter than day. This purple version. Um, my OCs, which I want to make into like photo cards. I think it'll look very cute. Um, so here I need to like round off the corners or something so it mimics the corners of the photo card. Masaki for something else. He looks really creepy, but I promise he doesn't look creepy in the final version. But uh, I'll blur the next few things, I think. Nope. Okay, I'm keeping him. <laughs> I think the next ones now I have to blur because I don't want to reveal the surprise of what I'm using these for. With Masaki. Then we have Masaki and Koji that I did for a live stream where I was just doodling my OCs. Um, Masaki again. Masaki just being happy. I did these for stickers. I forgot to compile them into the set. Um, yeah, just a quick pose thing I was planning. But I don't know if I'm going to use it. More concepts. And I think most of these are probably for Masaki. But yeah. I should really like this one. I don't know. Might use it for like Wanu instead. My OC Sato. Koji. Kind of like texting with Masaki and Sato. I was gonna do 
something with this. You can probably, if you can read it, then yeah, I was testing this out. Mas Masaki again. I was thinking I was gonna finish painting this, but I decided not to. A lot of my older stuff I don't really touch anymore. Masaki with another plant that I was gonna do. Koji. Hansuke, which I was gonna do for little stickers for mailing orders. Uh, Koji and Masaki. The heights are not correct, and his head is extremely huge. Little Koji doodles, just imposing. Masaki, which I did for a watercolor painting. I haven't done the series in a long time. I feel like it's because I haven't done plant studies in a while. Like, how do I explain this? I haven't been painting as frequently as before. More Koji. Koji again. Masaki. Sato. Masaki again. Or Masaki is an idol. Another Masaki when I was still learning how to digitally paint on Procreate. Uh, Koji. Masaki again. Masaki. Most of this is just Masaki and me playing around with learning how to paint. More doodles. Me kind of doing more posing stuff, breaking down the body into simple shapes. Masaki stuff. More Masaki. He's, his head's huge. This one's cute. I like the colors at least. I don't really think the posing and stuff look correct, but he looks cute. Masaki is a model, maybe? Masaki with the big head. More Masaki doodles. Look at this eye situation. More doodles, but I used more of like the neon color. Sato with more of like denim. Kind of like light blue and white outfits. Koji crying. Masaki. I actually really like this one actually. I think it looks really pretty. So I might do this concept again. But him holding kind of like little loose flowers and almost like a bouquet arrangement behind him. Masaki with a bouquet of roses. And with Koji looking a little... Looking a little sly there. Koji again. And I'm just kind of designing his baseball logo for his outfit. Because I thought it'd be cute. Sato, initial phases. Koji, Masaki. More Koji. Koji again. Masaki, where I try to redraw on the painting I've already done. Koji, where his face is a little too long. This one's really cute. I still really like this one, even though it's sketchy. It just, he, he just radiates cuteness. Sato, I think this is the very first drawing I did of Sato. Flower doodles. Masaki, with kind of like the watercolor brush. Sato again. This doesn't work, so he would be like, I think he's like turning his head or like looking up or something. Masaki. So I doodled in the style quite a bit, actually, and I kind of like colored blocked their outfits. Oh, Sato's in here too. Hmm. Yeah, I really like doing this for Masaki. I think it looks really pretty. I like this one. Yeah, there's some cute ones in here though. Like, I like these ones. Masaki, but doing line art style. I think I wanted to do like a turnaround for him, like he's spinning on his leg for an animation. Just many Hansukes, just fleshing him out and figuring out what he's like. Yeah, I think that's that's it. We're at the end. Um, yeah, I don't think I have very much to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me kind of scrub through and talking a little bit about um, some of these. I know this video is going to be quite lengthy because there's a lot more drawings than last time, but I'll try to whittle it down so that you guys could have something a little bit more digestible, but we know my videos tend to be on the longer side. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching today's video and seeing my Procreate gallery up to date as of... I think you guys will be seeing it on the same day since it's 1am right now, so it's the 6th of October 2021. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!